Dear students, welcome to our channel Online Class with Thema. In this video, we are going to see about uh, GE 3451 Environmental Science and Sustainability Unit 1 Ecosystem and Biodiversity's uh, first question that is explain the structure and functions of an ecosystem. So if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to this channel. So first we are going to see about the structure and function of an ecosystem. Uh, we have uh, the structure for an ecosystem we have a structure as well as the function so uh, abiotic ecosystem is being first explained so abiotic ecosystem is an essential for the growth and maintenance for the biotic community so it is it is uh, used for the growth and maintenance of the community that is biotic community examples are climate temperature light and minerals then we have biotic ecosystem that is the living organism in an ecosystem collectively form its community called biotic community okay collect they, the living organisms in an ecosystem they uh, collectively form a community called biotic community next producer it is called as autotrophs producers are called as autotrophs because they synthesize their own food uh, for own food through photosynthesis example all green plants okay next consumer uh, we have three types of consumer one is primary consumer secondary consumer and tertiary consumer first is primary consumer they are the herbivores they cannot produce their own food depends on producers for food example grasshopper goat deer next secondary consumer it is called as primary con carnivores cannot produce their own food depends on primary consumer for food example frog fox next we have tertiary consumer it is called uh, secondary carnivores cannot produce their own food depends on secondary consumer for food example lion tiger then we have decomposer uh, this decomposer feeds only on dead uh, plants and animals convert organic organic uh, compounds into inorganic nutrients it initiate nutrient cycling example bacteria and fungi so these are the uh, topics for the ecosystem next we have the conservation of biodiversity so conservation means the management of biosphere so that it will yield the greatest sustainable benefit to present generation while maintaining its potential to meet the needs of future generation so what does it do the ma it manages the biosphere so that it it is benefit to the present generation while man maintaining its potential to meet the needs of the future generation so what are the factors affecting the biodiversity uh, construction of dams in inside the forest around the forest areas so that the animals or the wildlife cannot live there then we have the release of the industrial wastes the re release of industrial wastes cause damage to the living organisms pesticide ins insecticides use usage urbanization poaching of wild animals over exploitation degradation global warming ozone depletion acid rain and so on so next advantages and need need of biodiversity advantages is uh, advantages and need is that recreation and tourism drugs herbs food and other important raw materials preserves generate to diversity of plants and animals types of biodiversity we have in situ ex situ in situ means within habitat ex situ means outside habitat in situ involves protection of fauna and flora within natural habitat and important in situ conservation of biosphere reserve national parks wildlife sanctuaries and gene sanctuaries then methods in in situ are we said already bios uh, biosphere reserves uh, got 7 national parks got 80 wildlife sanctuaries got 420 and botanical gardens got 120 so these are the count numbers available then first is biosphere reserves it covers large area more than 5000 square kilometer it is used to protect species for long time we have the main biosphere in nanda devi uh, Nokrek Manas okay in Nanda Devi in UP, Nokrek in Mehalaya, Manas in Azam. Next, National Park. National Park is an area dedicated for conservation of wildlife along its environment. So, that is for conservation of uh, to protect species. This one is for only wildlife. So, we have Periyar in Kerala for tiger and elephant, Gir National Park, Gujarat, Indian lion. Bandipur, Karnataka elephant, Dachingam, uh, Jammu and Kashmir, Hangal. Next we have wildlife sanctuaries. Wildlife sanctuaries are is an area which is reserved for conservation of animals only. At present, 492 wildlife sanctuaries are present in the country. 492. 
Okay, first one is Mudumalai, next Vedanangal, next Sultanpur bird. Mudumalai is in Tamil Nadu. Tiger, elephant, leopard are being uh, protected, conserved. Vedanangal, Tamil Nadu, water birds. Sultanpur bird, Haryana, migratory birds. Next, we have gene sensory, which is where g plants are being conserved. Uh, examples in North India, two gene sensories are found available. One gene sensory is uh, sensory for citrus, and another gene sensory for picture plant. Next, other projects for conservation of animals are uh, animals of example. See, uh, project tiger, gir lion project, crocodile breeding project. So these are the three other projects to conserve the animals. Then its advantages and disadvantages. Advantages is it is very cheap and convenient and it is adjusted to natural disasters like drought, floods, etc. For uh, etc. Next we have disadvantages. Disadvantages is it requires large surface area uh, which is uncomfortable. So it requires large surface area. Then uh, maintenance is poor, is not proper due to shortage of staff and pollution. Next, we have exit to conservation. Uh, exit to conservation is the conservation or protection of flora and fauna outside the natural habitat. In situ is the protection of flora and fauna inside the habitat. Uh, exit is outside the natural habitat. Its role is to maintain and um, breed of and breeding of endangered plants. So it maintains the endangered plants and animals under controlled conditions. Okay. Next, it identifies which organisms are extant and they are conserved next it preserves the end species more important to man in near future among the endangered species next important exit to conservations are botanical gardens seed banks microbial culture collections tissue and cell cultures museums zoological gardens etc so uh, we have the ex uh, methods methods first one is national bureau of plant genetic resource it is used for the plant uh, conservation next we have national bureau of animal genetic resource which is used for conservation of animal animal tissues and it, it conserves the animal endangered species then we have national facility for tissue plant tissue culture repository so these are the three methods to for uh, executive conservation Next, we have advantages and disadvantages. Advantages. Survival of endangered species is increasing due to special care and attention. Animals are assured. Uh, we have the good assurance of food, water, shelter, security and longer lifespan. And it has a uh, survival of endangered species is increasing due to the best care, the special care taken by them. Next, uh, disadvantages. It is expensive method. Freedom is lost and cannot survive in natural environment so these are the advantages and disadvantages so in this video we have seen about the ecosystem structure of ecosystem it's a uh, biotic abiotic it's uh, types uh, the consumers producers decomposers and it's and its examples and second secondly we have seen about the conservation of biodiversity which includes in situ and exit conservation and it's and its types so that's all in this video. Thank you.